everyone and welcome to day one of vlogmas 2016 i hope you all liked the little intro i made before this vlog let me know i made it myself so it's not like the greatest in the world but i wanted something a little bit festive and to really highlight that this is vlogmas so i've decided if the vlog is over five minutes um for one day i will just put that as a separate vlog but if it's not five minutes, I'll just put it with another day. So like for school, obviously, I'm trying to think, will there be over five minutes of vlogs um, and things like that. But I'm about to head off to school now. So I'm going to insert all the footage that I've just filmed me doing my hair and makeup. And I've also got some footage from the... 29th of November when I went out for dinner as it was my mum's birthday so I thought I would just quickly include that just to add a bit of length and I am on my new vlog camera so I apologise if I keep looking up the viewfinder um, or if it's out of focus or anything I'm just still trying to get used to it it's the second time I've actually vlogged with it so today's vlog for vlogmas 2016 literally about to head out to prezzo because it's my mom's birthday and it's the 29th of november so it's not strictly vlogmas but i thought i'd just add it in anyway because i wanted to test out my new camera which i'm currently on i'm just gonna quickly show you my outfit and then we better go so my top is from all my jumper is from h&m new look scarf Topshop jeans and a cool Primark sock, so... Okay, so I've literally just got back in from Prezzo. I was so busy and loud in there that I couldn't like just pick up the camera and talk so I just filmed a couple of clips for you of some food. Hello everyone, so I'm back from school. I got back actually like an hour ago um, but I've just been relaxing, eating some of these brilliant things. But today, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know it has been such an eventful day. So period one, my RE teacher said she was leaving. I was so upset. I was almost going to cry because she's like my favourite teacher. And she was just, she's just such an amazing teacher. So she's leaving, well, basically at the end of term. So she won't be back after Christmas, which is really sad. So I was hoping, I've had her for every single year. I've been at the, um, my secondary school except for one. And I was hoping to have her now all the way through GCSE and I don't, which is really sad. And period two, I found, we were doing, obviously at the moment, I'm doing GCSE media and it's still on the old spec. Um, but we would do something called controlled assessment, which is basically coursework that's done in the lesson. And I was almost finished. What happens? I lose all my work. So angry. I thought I was going to have a breakdown. I wasn't the only one, which makes me feel a little bit better um so people understand how i feel but i was just so angry then period three i had science nothing really interesting there period four's lunch period five i had maths and he basically our teacher just ran us through like the whole two-year gcse thing because he was like actually we don't have that much left to do which is kind of like nice so we were in english like planning our speech for our gcse exam on friday it's like the speaking exam which doesn't count towards your overall grade which is a bit annoying but and the fire alarm goes off doesn't it because someone's hit it by accident period seven i got my geography test back i actually 
like did really well on that i was so over the moon with it like i thought i'd done really badly and i dropped nine marks it was out of 30 i got 21 and for our first geography test he said that was really good so that's right and then i went after school to get my history test because if you didn't know i do geography and history for gcc and that one i did all right i was two marks off getting my target grade um, and I would have got those two marks if I hadn't ran out of time. So I suppose at least in the exam you get longer than you do in class. So I'm going to try and find a place to put you down because a package came earlier that I wanted to go through and just show you quickly. I got home from school and I had received a package from Undecided, which is an app if you didn't already know. I spoke about this, which in my video the one I'm yesterday for me, um, my November favourites, and it's one of my favourite apps at the moment. So. My username is just Florosphere. They sent me a package, but they wrote me a really nice letter, which I won't show you because my address is on. Lottie London basically sent me a bunch of gifts, and I also got one thing from NUA. Okay, so it literally just told me I ran out of space in my car. That has never actually happened before. So I don't know where it cut off, but what I was saying is the first thing they sent me is concealer brush, which is just like this green concealer brush. It looks really nice. It's quite like small and soft, and it's a really nice minty colour. They then sent me the brow babe, which is basically just a pair of yellow tweezers. Then I got another brush, and this is the Buff and Blend brush, and this looks really nice. And this just says um, it's great for things like powders. So, and I have the Soap Style Solid Brush Cleaner, which is basically just a brush cleaner, I'm guessing. Um, let's have a look. I haven't opened this, so. Oh. So you basically wear your brush and then you rub it over the soap. That's and the final thing they sent me, which is from, oh no, two more things. They then sent me some of the Urban United, and these are just nail files. They sent me an MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Reckless, and it's just like a red pinky shade. This year we actually... Um bought an advent calendar because obviously we have a chocolate one but we got one um which is kind of like not going to be just chocolate it's going to be like little bits and pieces it does light up but it's not on at the moment so me and Dix are going to open this later and see what's in the first drawer For literally the last hour, I have been on like a chat to someone. This isn't even focusing. For literally the last hour, I have been on a chat to someone at Microsoft for them to try and recover my file. And obviously, I need to go, so I've had to leave it. So hopefully, I can recall my course work because if I can't, that's gonna be so annoying. But I'm gonna head off to the shower now as. I need to wash my hair and then I'm a celebrity will be on. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here just because this evening I'm not doing much else other than watching I'm a celebrity. So thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 1. I've decided this is going to be a separate vlog. So just basically Thursday and obviously the clip I included from Tuesday as I started reviewing the footage already and I had like 20 minutes of footage which is crazy. I don't understand how. Um... But yeah, I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog for Vlogmas Day 2. Bye!